Hey Lance, thanks for having the Peterson Automotive Museum with you today. Looking forward to your visit, Christian. Looking forward to you guys showing you around Super Performance, Shelby Legendary Cars, and Hill Bank. So how long you guys been located here? So we've been in this location approximately three years now. We were only a mile away for nearly 12 years. Uh, been in Irvine for a total of 15 plus years. Cool. And uh, yeah, you're coming in past and quite an interesting little thing. You notice our, our little Daytonas here. Um, we originally had a painted version of this and perfectly painted, but somebody decided to steal it because it looked so good. Anyhow, they are planters. <coughs> And there you have Kendra and our guard dog, Trumpy. <laughs> Take a look, come through. Yeah. And this is just our little store over here where we have Shelby and Super Performance clothing and other accessories. And we've even got electric bikes. So you name it, we've got it here. We've got Doug sitting there working away. There we go. How's it going, Doug? Awesome. <coughs> and this is our showroom. How big is this warehouse? So it's 25,000 square foot. Um, so our showroom area is probably approximately 18,000 square foot. And uh, we've had as many, uh, believe it or not, we've been as full as 140 cars in here. Uh, right now, we're probably at about 80, 90. Um, behind the sign at the back, there are actually more cars. Um, and we've got the complete range of Shelby's that, that Carol created and made famous in the 60s. Uh, everything from the first Cobra, the 289 slab side, as it was known, that originally started off with the 260 engine in. Um, that's where we start. The little wire wheel car, as you saw it in Ford versus Ferrari with Matt Damon driving it as Carol Shelby. Uh, stunning little car. They, they, they're the sweethearts of the Cobras. Everybody who drives one of these just absolutely loves them. You get that English sports car feel with an American powerhouse of a V8 engine in it. And it's, and it's not a crazy horsepower engine. They're approximately 300, 350 horsepower, but it really drives nicely. Great yeah. cars to own. You called this, what, what edition is this? This is called the slab side Cobra. Now why is it a slab side Cobra? Because the sides were flat. And they called them the slab sides because they had the slab sides. <coughs> now is this the first one or like? This is based on the first Cobra. The original Cobras, these flares were slightly smaller. Uh, we went to the next year, couple of years later where they were slightly wider. Okay. Um, and you move across to the Sebring car over here which is how they raced the first Cobras. Sebring flares in the front with the spats at the back because the regulation said the car had to cover the tires, the body had to cover the tires. They flared the rear of the car to put wider wheels on. Hey Lance, do you mind if we can hear what the car sounds like? Only a pleasure, you got it. That's half the fun of owning these cars and selling them. That's a loud car, Lance. Oh yeah, it's, it's so cool. And just so you can look at the heart of the beast. There it is. And this is actually based on Dave McDonald's race car. The famous race car from, the, from 62 and 3 that Dave McDonald raced. And if you look up on the plaque there, we've got all the famous. There's Bob Bonner on. Ken Miles, Carol Shelby, Dave McDonald, Alan Grant, and Dan Gurney. So <clears throat> the Sebring Cobras were raced by Dan Gurney, Alan Grant, Dave McDonald, and Ken Miles. And we've got a Ken Miles edition here too. I'm taking you through pretty fast, but if you walk through here, and this is our little boutique where we keep the more expensive stuff and the aluminum cars. Um, 
the red cobra that you're looking at over here is exactly how Ken Miles raced the car. It was red. Um, it's done with all the options that he liked. Each one was done a little bit differently. Uh, Ken, the dashboard, the way it's laid out, that's how he wanted it. He even used the, the hot rod steering wheel, not the Cobra steering wheel. If you take a look at that steering wheel, that's the steering wheel that Ken Miles liked. And that's not a Cobra steering wheel. But if you look at the gauges, they are exactly as he did it. And our good friend Peter Miles, Ken's son, signed the dash for us. <coughs> and then Now, this wasn't... It wasn't red in the movie, though, correct? No, it wasn't red in the movie, but this is actually the color it was, yeah. Okay. So, and this is Alan Grant uh, raced this Cobra with this finish, with this paint scheme. The paint scheme was designed by Star Wars fame. Ah, I'm going to go blank. George Lucas? George Lucas. Thank you. So, George Lucas actually designed the paint scheme for this car, and, um, and he was living with Alan at the time in, and, and they were going racing and and he was helping them with a the car. Now this obviously has the steering wheel that was supposed to come with it, right? That's the Cobra steering wheel, yeah. Okay. Alan raced it with a Cobra steering wheel. You know, right down that these are switches from the old B20 and B25 bombers. Um, they're more reliable switches and that's the stuff they put in the race cars, that's sort of Alan Grant of course has signed this car for us too. Very the very cool thing is what they look like under the hood. Absolutely stunning. Everything just for racing. Everything done correctly the way they raced them back then. And how much power does this one have? So we put a lot more power in than what they had at the time. These have got Shelby engines. Engines, they've got aluminum block uh, 363s in them. So they're over 500 horsepower. I bet the guys would have loved to have had that back in the 60s when they were racing these cars. Uh, I don't believe they had way more than 350 horsepower back then when they raced them first. <clears throat> now, what's this uh, Mario Andretti car you have right behind us? So that's one of Mario Andretti's race cars. Uh, if I had to check, it, it, it's, it's around the 80s, if I'm correct. Um, and we, one of my good friends, Craig Hansen, bought this at uh, Barrett Jackson this year and to add to his collection of cars. He's bought a lot of cars from me. The Daytonas you're looking at next to me, I'll go through them with you, um, all belong to Craig. He bought them from us and the race cars in the Beanie's collection. This is based on the Daytona that Bob won the World Championship with sports car championship in 1965 car number 26 uh, it's it's a very famous car and this car is built with a CSX 2000 series number same as the original Daytona's back in the 60s and it, it's a it's a clone of what Bob raced back then uh, beautiful car all aluminum stunning then this is something really special <laughs> this is called the secret weapon, we call it. And uh, it's also been known as Super Coupe. There's a whole lot of different names that have been used for it. But Carol was going to build six Daytonas to go up against the Ferraris with the big block 390 FE engine in. And so this is extended wheelbase. It's three inches longer and it's got the big engine in. And uh, stunning, stunning car. This also has the CSX 2000 series number. It's also available from us now, new. Um, oh, let me just get that up. It's not going to come up alone. Let me see if I can do it from this side. You so might have to just give it a lift there. Let's just see. Let me know. There you go. Got it. But look at that. That is absolutely so cool. Now, in this one's case, we've got an aluminum Shelby engines again, uh, 427, but stroke to 468 cubic inches. Now, how many... No, so you sell these, right? Yeah, sell. We've we've sold three so far. Uh, third one's in production at the moment. Only two others are have gone out. They're approximately five hundred thousand each, and you actually get a CSX two thousand numbered car in the registry as the secret weapon. We've done everything the same as what they did in the sixty, right down to the join. You could see where the three inches came in. We actually left that visible, so you could see. The original car that this was done to today belongs to Robert Walton of Walmart and um, the, the original car 
after never got to race in Europe, it was actually damaged, had an accident, and never got to race. So when it came back to the States, it was converted back to a 289 car, and that's the car that's in Mr. Walton's collection at this time. Um, and, and, and that he raced up until a few years ago. We saw him at, uh, at Laguna Seca, and man, he was racing the car full out, full out. He, he, he doesn't hold back. He's a very good driver. And uh, then over here is GT40 Mark II, as seen in the movie um, with uh, Carol at the time, Matt Damon driving with Henry Ford in the car. So this is the Mark II, was the first big block Cobra, uh, uh, GT40, sorry, um, and uh, it's not the actual car from the movie, the, that car has been sold, it's in a private collection, belongs to a very good friend of ours, uh, William, and he has a really good Shelby collection of cars, really, really nice guy, total enthusiast when it comes to Shelby, so that one's living in Michigan, but this is, this is exactly how the car was in the movie, um, Ford versus Ferrari. <coughs> now, did you build the one right behind you? So the one behind me, no. That was a, was, a, was a very big privilege to have been selected by Ford to get one of the Ford GTs. Um, naturally, when this car went back to Le Mans in 2016, we were all there. I was there. Uh, you know, we were licking the window, looking out, couldn't wait for this to all come, come together. And, and Ford won, as, as we all know, 50 years later with a Ford GT. Uh, Words can't describe this car. It's just, I, I've driven and owned so many different cars. I've, I've driven everything that's out there. But, but this is just a unique car. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to drive. It, it's, it's, it's a race car for the street, but it's reasonably civilized. I, I'm quite comfortable doing longer trips in the car as opposed to a sports car of this caliber. You know, a car that's capable of doing what this car does. Um, Ford blew it way out of the box with this car. It's just, just spectacular, spectacular. And um, as I said, I'm used to driving cars that are so crazy that look like spaceships when they arrive at, at car shows and stuff. But this car just drives people crazy, old and young. They just, and then when they see it's got a Ford badge, they're, all, they're even more amazed about the car. But it's a great car, yeah. It really makes me proud to be a Ford fan and a fan of the, of the race cars and the 60s cars and the Lamar winning cars. Just incredible. Well, thank you, Lance, for uh, giving this, this brief tour. Um, would it be okay if we come back and check out a couple more cars a little bit later? Yes, definitely. I want to just show you one more before you go. You have to look at the most famous of all GT40s ever. That is based on 1075, the GT40 that won Lamar two years in a row, 68 and 69. The original car also belongs to Mr. Walton and so wonderful that he keeps these incredible cars in his collection. This car has everything done the same as the car that raced in 69. We went down and, and went to extreme details with all the records. We are licensed by Sapper, the holders of the original trademark. And Sapper helped us with every bit of record, with every bit of documentation, you name it, um, photograph files, and uh, we've, we've just gone to the end degree to make sure this car is correct, and that's our 50th anniversary of the Lamar wins in 1969. It's Gulf licensed, licensed by Sapper GT40, and has the P1000 series numbers, the same as the cars from the 60s. Something really special, and uh, we offer them new. You. You too could own one if you wanted to. All righty. Well, thank you, Lance. And thank you for taking us a tour around everywhere. Um, this is a really great facility and we would love to come back again. Pleasure, thanks. Look, great to have you, Christian. And of course, being a Checker Flag member, love the Peterson Museum and everything the Peterson Museum does for the car hobby.